Hi, I'm David Wigner. I bring you chess daily on YouTube and also shared on Twitter. Here is, as promised, round six of the New Zealand Junior Chess Championships of April 1981. This is a long game, but it's actually against the more or less current New Zealand chess champion. I cannot drop names, of course. I do not wish to. So here is round six of New Zealand's Junior Chess Championships. The time control is 40 and 2, which is 40 in moves in 2 hours, and 20 moves in 1 hour thereafter. This is just under 60 moves, so I'm going to show you this game in its entirety because it's quite crazy. E4, D4, CD4, Knight D4. This is still in defence, of course. Knight F6, Knight C3, which I believe he's better at theory than I am. Knight F6, G6. That was Knight C3, of course. G6, Bishop C4, Bishop G7, Bishop E3. So we're playing a Sicilian dragon, or my opponent is playing the dragon, Sicilian dragon. Because they're fair and shadowed this bishop, sometimes it's accelerated dragon and so forth and other things like that. But this is known as the Sicilian dragon. My opponent is very very sharp. Rook e8, h4, so I tried to equal the task. Knight d7, h5, not stopping at anything we can know isn't. merely defending the c4 square from these imposing knights that are quite annoying. Bishop d7, I play f4 to ping one of the knight, to ping the knight to decide what to do. My opponent goes bishop g4, sharp as he is. Queen f1, still eyeing up the square c4 from not being able to be infiltrated by black. Knight c6, knight f3, knight b3, a b3, queen c8, very sharp game this, queen f2, car, um, knight b4, e5, is here black sort of threatening just this sort of stuff maybe, which is quite not very nice, e5, very very um, a very very glassy sort of a move really. Bishop f3, g f3, chomp. Now I have to do something because I'm going to lose material here to be absolutely frank. <laughs> it's a crazy game. And I don't even know what was going on now. Look, Queen H3, I come back here, and now we get into a, a really difficult game for White. Rook H3, B6, I gave that an exclamation mark. Bishop D2, Rook A C8, King E2, Rook D8, E5, closing off the Bishop. F6, wanting to open it up again. Um, rook e3, f5, here's the bishop again, uh, active again. King d1. That's check, and I can't take it with the bishop. I can with the rook, but that loses the material. My opponent is a very, very technical player. That's crazy. C4, and guess what? My opponent leaves the knight on D5 because I, if I take it, I'm merely met with rook C2 check. So he plays A5. He's really wrapped in my cage. Rook H8, uh, H1. 
Bishop c3, a very powerful bishop now. It's coming into its own. Rook g7. Rook h8. So this is week 51, late in week 51. Black's now defending the knight on e7. Bishop f6 is now attacking it again. Now play king c3. It's sort of a kind of a, if I may say so, a kind of a Nimzovich move. Rook d7 and here I eat the bit. I chomp at the bit. And I have this tempo moving um, position for my king to get my king one square closer and the resulting moves are the following I defend this pawn might as well f7 and my opponent resigned in this position uh, he is an international master of chess now um, but you can tell he's a little bit younger than me I think by a year or two and you can tell that he's rather formidable okay that's the end of the session I hope you enjoyed that game that was round six that put me on something like four out of six yes four out of six so I bring you round seven the final game tomorrow okay thank you I hope you enjoyed it bye bye